this is how you will weld up this kit. I'm going to use this just because it's hot. You see I've tacked one, two, three and four and I did exactly the same on the opposite side. Roll it over. Done four tacks. Make sure you're using something nice and solid. Um, this is like 6mm RHS, 70 by 70 Now, you have to cut these little bits off. That's around 20mm. 20 20mm. 20 off that end, um, and it will be absolutely perfect. You put that 20 mil piece in the middle, and it's your actual spacer for the guts. Works out mint. Um, so it's pretty obvious. T90, T90, and then your spacer in the middle. Which is this little piece here. It's really hot. Um, make sure you chamfer your ends. Make it all nice and tight and tidy, and then buzz it out. So you just seen that video then, I used the two centre pieces, the ruler to straight edge to get it all nice and straight, line it up with the holes, and then fitted the 90s, welded everything all together, tacked it all out. Now I use the MIG to tack because it's a million times quicker. You can MIG weld these, um, it's totally up to you, as long as it's gas shielded it will be fine. Uh, preferably TIG, but not everyone can TIG so don't get too stressed. Now. This is the piece that goes on. You can choose wherever you want to put it. And we go there, in the center, and also the rotation of it. Now we just sell you this as a square cut section. You actually have to notch this yourself. So, not too hard to do. You can see there, it's beautiful. Andrew actually did this one. It's nice.
So we lined it up, its best position is cylinder number two, so just back from that. And uh, it kind of works out perfectly with that cut, because on the top side, you just cut that corner off and the, the whole piece comes out. So obviously we're going to have to clean up that, that inside with the burr, but that's it, straightforward. Keep welding. So this is, sorry about how dark it is, um, a steam pipe, turbo manifold, log manifold. Now, <clears throat> it's basically taken me four, maybe four and a half hours to get to this point. Now, it's um, been TIG welded, so we did tack it together with a MIG like I started and then started the video, um, and then I just, I, I always do this, it's, every weld is different, but you can see the high points here where I've actually, that's where I started from the tack, and then I've worked my own around, and same as old tack here, tack here, um, that sort of deal. Um, anyway, it's not really a welding video, it's more just to show you what, how, how simple they are to, to make. Now, a hot tip when you, when you buy the kit, <clears throat> they come with a full radius 90 and a full radius T, you can see here, We've taken out, you can see the difference here to that side. So if you want to know what that figure is, it's 20 mil off each one. So off the 90 and off the T, 20 mil cut. Uh, and that will give you the exact measurement and the location for the, the runner as well. And it's funnily enough, the 20 mil piece actually fits nicely in the middle there. Um, so that is actually bugger all cutting. So it's essentially two there, two there. Put the piece in the middle, tack it away, and then you you notch your, your RHS box section, whatever you want to call it, to suit your application. So, that's it. I'll show you some pickies now of it on the engine with the turbo on it, and yeah. yeah.